Hello, I am Professor Rajviri Edwansi. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on dielectric resonator antennas. Basically, so far we have seen metallic antennas. Today we will see some unconventional antennas that is known as DRA. DRA stands for dielectric resonator antennas. The basic difference between the metallic antenna and DRA is the characteristics properties of the ceramic materials. We have ceramic materials which are having permittivity from 10 to 1600. It means we can make use of higher permittivity material for designing antennas. Dielectric resonator antennas are most efficient antennas, reason being they have less loss, high efficiency and stable characteristics. Somewhere in uh, 1939, Rich Muir uh, was the scientist who made research on dielectric materials and S. A. Long was the engineer who made use of these dielectric materials to convert them into antennas and since then many researchers utilized dielectric materials for devising antennas they are Antar, Kesk, uh, Mogia and many other researchers. You will find my uh, book published in uh, 2016 as Dielectric Resonator Antenna Theory and Design and recently published one more book on Nano Dielectric Resonator Antennas in CRC Press, Taylor and Francis. So now there is no dearth of literature available on dielectric resonator antennas. They, the beauty of dielectric resonator antennas are that they are having flexibility in the design. Reason being, we are having different aspect ratios. If we take an example of rectangle dielectric resonator antenna, we have A, B and D dimensions which constitute a volume. So A by B P by D, these are two aspect ratios we can choose generally in design. We keep aspect ratio 0 0.5 to 2.5 for viable designs, and we see that the aspect ratio governs generation of resonant modes and many other characteristics of the dielectric resonant antennas. So, if we want to operate at fundamental mode. And then we want to operate the same antenna on higher order modes, the antenna characteristics will be different. Likewise, the same antenna can operate at F1 frequency, which is uh, a fundamental uh, mode frequency, can operate at F2, F3 and Fn, which are multiples, multiples or no, also known as harmonics or uh, higher order modes. There are two uh, advantages to operate at higher order modes. One is you can have directivity higher, you can have higher gain when you operate at higher order modes as compared to fundamental mode. Secondly, you can generate multiple modes into the same antenna. Third advantage is if you are able to modulate these modes, uh, modulation uh, means if you can shift these modes either apart or close. If you shift them apart, they will give you multiple resonances which you can operate for your own choice of operating bands. But if you bring these modes closer, you can achieve merging of various modes and due to this merging of the uh, modes which 
generally occurred in different uh, frequency spectrum may constitute a wider range of operations so in in that way the bandwidth can be enhanced these are the advantages which we cannot have in metallic antennas metallic metallic antennas offer huge amount of loss at higher frequencies and specifically when we talk about uh, the optical domains because nowadays more research is towards optical antennas or light antennas quantum antennas these are the burning uh, trends which we are going to devise today because of uh, skin effect so dra dielectric materials stands true to its strength even at optical frequencies why i uh, spoke about out of frequency recently i was reading through a book of uh, retina prosthesis what happens this is one of the beautiful biomedical applications where we uh, we can make use of uh, drs dielectric resonant antennas into the applications in human eye there is a retina and at retina you must have read about cones and uh, rods are there they operate at nanometer range so we are 100 nanometer because uh, at a wavelength of photon these photonic wavelength uh, rods and cones behaves like dielectric material and they uh, convert into neurons give it to brain for further processing so we thought of developing some sort of substitute for photoreceptors why reason being uh, in human being at old age these uh, photoreceptors they have got redemption and other chemical properties by which they are able to generate uh, significant voltage which is being used to generate neurons and further processing for the brain so my objective is to receive the, that photon which is available in the nature so if we can use uh, these cones as a con dra and rods which are cylindrical nature as a cylindrical uh, dra and generate arrays because they are in uh, millions the array of cones and uh, rods are in millions stagger stagger together and then they give neurons to the uh, brain so my motive was to devise these uh, uh, photo receptors with the help of uh, dielectric resonator antennas so that photon is received and whatever uh, the photo receptors uh, play role these uh, cones and cylinders will play so that is possible in my new book which is uh, yet to be uh, uh, published but it is already uh, uh, in uh, e e print form printing is not yet out that will be somewhere in 10th of june there we have used these concepts of uh, retinal antennas how these antennas will help to current era that is being depicted in that but before that i want to discuss something about the dielectric resonator antennas basic characteristics which how it operates we'll see the basic parameters of antennas bandwidth gain polarization radiation pattern and there are n number of patterns n number of parameters in uh, each parameter there is a team of uh, researchers which is working to optimize it like few are working on resonant modes few are working on bandwidth few are working on polarization few are working on uh, mimo few are working on diversity few are working on uh, 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 beam control few are working on radiation pattern control so these are the different uh, domains of groups which are working in their own uh, choice of research so if uh, we take an example of simple rectangular dra how it operates i am going to spell out something about that <laughs> 